Are you thinking of a different way to cap off your long workday? Well, surprise yourself with a taste that is comforting and familiar, but with an interesting Pinoy twist. It's no secret that we Filipinos love to eat and drink. And the restaurant in Bonifacio Global City has infused Western techniques with traditional flavors to delight our Filipino palates with new and exciting tastes. So we are here in Tortilla in the port and I'm here with Chef Lika Hello. eating our props. So <laughs> yummy! So I would say these are your best seller um, pulutas. Pulutas, yes. Okay, please take us through these. Sobrang sarap talaga kanina ko pa siya pinapapak. Yes. Okay, so first here, we have the isaw platter. So it's, uh, we also call it the street food platter. You have your isaw baboy, isaw manok, and of course, your kwek kwek. Yes. And of course, we have a uh, cartilla special sauce. Next, we have our crispy chicken skin. Um, it's paired with wasabi mayo. And then, um, we mix it with nori flakes yes. and uh, togarashi. Another deadly dish would be the chicharon bulakla. Mm -hmm. um, we have a special marinade for it. We mix it with our uh, special ingredients and then before we fry it. Okay. And then on the side we have herb salt. Yes. And then one of our best sellers here in Cartilia is our liempo queso fundido. Mm -hmm. So it's liempo with uh, with three cheese marinade. The restaurant's concept, as suggested by its name, was inspired by the Cartilla ng Katipunan, which was known as the revolutionary guide of the KKK. The idea is that the store owners have their own cartilla, which is Chef Lika Ibarra's heirloom recipes that have been handed down in her family from generation to generation. And as interesting as the dishes on their menu are, are the unique drinks in their bar. We've heard that you serve some of the most unique cocktails yes. here in Cartilia. Where do you get the inspiration for those? So, Cartilia is partnered with Pro Proudly Bromby. Mm -hmm. um, they are the ones who created our cocktails. Um, the objective of our cocktails is to create uh, refreshing, easy to appreciate, and good tasting cocktails, mm -hmm. uh, emphasizing Filipino flavor. The drinks in Cartilia are inspired not only by local flavors, but by Filipino pop culture and different places from around the country. So when it comes to your drinks, when you say uh, talagang very Pinoy na mga drinks or lasa, what are those? Are there any base Pinoy um, Well, drinks? top three would be first yung um, El Nido. Okay. El Nido is our own play of the piña colada. Okay. It has a little bit of lambanog for that extra kick. Um, another one would be, it's called Tito, because of the name. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's a strong and spirit-forward drink that Titos would yes. enjoy. All the Titos of Manila. Yes. And my personal favorite is the Wana, okay. which I think all the Titos of Manila <laughs> and would enjoy. Okay, and, the um, Wana, I fall under that category. What Wana, is that Wana? Um, we'll see it later, so our bartender will be um, mixing our drinks. Okay. And it's our version of the Sangria. And to show us just how uniquely Filipino they are, they showed us how to mix some of their most popular drinks. So, Pinoy na Pinoy. Usually, yeah. di ba, you put lime, ganyan. Dito ka lang yeah. ang din. Galing. Wow, how did the drinks tasting of Cartelia go? I bet that was so much fun. Tito. Yes. Oh, the Tito. Okay. Oh, it looks so pretty. So this is the Tito for all the Titos. I'm sure can. Wow, that does smell strong but good. Okay, so this last one is Juana. This is your favorite. Juana. How nice. That's yummy. Parang, it's a familiar taste, but it does have some Pinoy twist. Ang galing. 
Thank you very much, Chef Lika. Okay, we can now enjoy the food and the drinks. Thank you, thank you, World War. It is so great that more and more local establishments are supporting and pushing for proudly Pinoy products. So, cheers and support local.